Hey guys! Last week's video, I did mention that Anne Fung inspired me to put emotion into my music. Some of you picked up on that. Kamloops 2000 do you live in BC? Do you think conveying expression or emotion through music is based more through technique and how you play or from your mindset, visualizing what you're trying to convey? Is it inborn or developed? How to improve? Pink Kitty Music. I have some video requests, how to feel music, like put emotion into what you're playing, thoughts on music composition, thoughts on music industry, all genres in general, and more day in the life of vlogs. Thanks! By the way, in terms of day in the life vlogs, they're probably going to be pretty boring because I'm really just in front of the computer or in front of my camera trying to fix my camera. It would be kind of boring. I mean, I could do it on my side channel. In answer to your question, here are my personal thoughts. I do not think that this is the end all be all. Excuse you. There are three major things that I thought of when you guys asked this question. The first one being, is music one of your primary forms of expression? I do not believe that all people have only one form of expression. I believe that everybody has a couple of forms of expression by which they feel like they can really fully express themselves. I don't really know how many times I could say the word expressed in one sentence, but there you go. For some people, music may not actually be one of their primary forms of expression. So some people are better at it in painting, some people are better in dance, some people are better in theater, some people are better through math and science actually. You can express yourself through anything and music is only one of them. So here's the thing is if music is not one of your primary forms of expression, it is going to be harder for you to express emotion through music. But if you take to it more naturally, it'll be easier for you to find ways to express yourself through music. The second thing is that there is a technical side to expressing emotion through music. I don't wanna deal with copyright issues on YouTube, so I'm just going to make up a random melody. Here we go. Okay, so a nice slow melody for you. The slow melodies are the ones that you really can put a lot of emotion into. Now, there is a lot of ebb and flow in what I'm doing. There's a lot of stuff going on in terms of dynamics. There's a lot of stuff going on in terms of vibrato. There's a lot of stuff going on in terms of tone color. Let's tackle those three things one at a time. So in terms of dynamic, I'm not playing all in one dynamic. If I was, it would sound something more like this. I kind of sound like a midi flute, right? There's nothing going on. It sounds very flat that way. So you can use crescendos and decrescendos in strategic areas to really give it that nice ebb and flow. The second thing is vibrato. You want to make sure that your vibrato doesn't actually stay the same throughout because again, you will still sound like a midi flute, but just with vibrato. <laughs> There's some parts where the vibrato is deeper and then there's some parts where the vibrato is shallower there's some parts where the vibrato is slower some parts where it's faster so again there are even some parts without vibrato so you can actually use vibrato as decoration which is the way that it's supposed to be used and the third thing was tone so in terms of tone color, you don't have to stick to only one tone. For example, the whole entire thing doesn't have to be dark and rich and chocolatey. I mean, come on, that, that, that's a bit much, right? That's a bit much. What you can do is you can add a little bit more of like a hollow ethereal sound to it. There's something that's a little bit thinner, but still with the same amount of power. actually move between tone colors. You're basically painting with music. So yeah, in terms of the technical side of expressing emotion, you do need to know some technical things like the stuff that I just showed you. Now the third thing that I wanted to cover is a little bit more of a serious topic. It's life experience. 
quite simply, you need more life experience to be able to convey more emotion through music. Things like heartbreak, friendships, breaking down, losing a family or friend, losing a pet, you know, all these really terrible things. Just to give you guys a little bit more context, for myself, I have been through heartbreak before John, not with John. John and I is good. Also, I almost lost my dad several times. <laughs> One time in particular when I was 16 was particularly bad because his heart did stop beating for some time while he was at the hospital. Doctors were able to resuscitate him, but it was a very traumatic time for me. There were a whole bunch of other things going on at the time as well. I have taken the rest of my immediate family members plus John to the emergency room. I've been the one to rush them to the hospital. And it's really hard being that person on the side, not knowing if the people that you love, um, if they're gonna make it. As I lived through these experiences, I noticed that my expression through music got more and more profound. The slow parts made a lot more sense to me in music. Even the fast licks are not all just to show off. Some of those licks can be angry, some of those licks can be playful. It's really funny because you don't really see that until you get to certain points in your life where you start to see beyond the surface of things. I can't believe my stupid camera just had to die in like in the last minute, literal minute of me wanting to just finish this point. I would love to hear what you guys think. I know that there are a lot of teachers and professionals who watch my videos, so I would love everyone's input. Whether you are a teacher, performer, student, I don't care. I would love to hear all of your thoughts. Please put them in the comments below. And as usual, if you guys like this video, even though it was a train wreck in terms of the filming process. Please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe for new videos every Saturday. My last video is over here and if you want to catch me sometime during the week, my social media network stuff are down there. But otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, it is just not my day to film. In fact, it is just not my 24 hours to film. Yesterday, the sound popped and just died halfway through filming my curious video. Today it died again while I'm filming my YouTube weekly video. Then the battery died while I was trying to refilm it. So this is my third attempt to film this. So you know what? I'm just going to finish where I left off the last bit. All right. Anyway, I am calm. I am calm.